If you've ever been through one of these U.S. Marine Corps workouts, whiskey, I'm talking about it. it'll run you through the ringer, dog. I don't care what you've been doing before. It'll run you through it unless you are Travis Hunter. He went through it twice. Look at this guy, man. I'm talking about an Uber athlete. Doesn't get tired. Call him Kevin Gates. He run all day. The energizer. Funny. As you know, these workouts will put some of the grownest men on their butts. The Division One college football players should be able to go through this workout and actually complete it. Might not be able to go through it twice like Travis Hunter did, but you should be able to go through and complete this workout. Should add to everything that you've been doing in the weight room with the strength and conditioning staff and all of these different styles of workout push-ups, sit-ups, planks, um, squats, whatever, to build that core strength, that upper body strength, and that lower body strength to deal with all the combat needed as a Marine. And you see Travis Hunter right here. That's what I do, man. Hey, round two. Probably the only one that did two rounds, but it's all good. Extra work counts. It's all good. Extra work counts. If you're listening, young guys listening, you want to be like Travis Hunter, you want to try to be like Travis Hunter, you got to get that extra work in, dog. We were with everybody on the team, and we know it was working on just teamhood. Like, we had to trust the guy next to us. We had to trust the guy in front of us to do their job. Because so, when you just rely on yourself, when you're relying on, like, you know, when you only think about yourself, it's a whole lot harder. But when you're doing it for the guy next to you, becomes a lot easier because you don't want to let them down. So there's the Marine Corps just instilling in us all their values and beliefs, and they helped us to become closer as a group today. Today we had to work as a team, not a bunch of individuals. I'm very proud of the way y'all work together. Uh, pushing through adversity like they showed Camille and Buck Nation are on their way up. Please stay tuned. Let's go, boss. And you see post-workout big Tyler Brown, Justin Mayer is looking like some Greek gods out there. And here are some additional clips from Coach Pollock that he posted and showing that the Marines showed up today and brought the thunder. Skull buffs, skull hard. Y'all know how we do it, man. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Join the chat. Become a part of the conversation. What do y'all think about these workouts? Do you think you could have went through the workouts? I feel like this brings an extra element to it. These guys don't want to let... Like Tyler Brown said, they don't want to let the guy next to him down. They don't want to let the Marine Corps down who's here watching them. This is definitely a show and prove date. This is like the IST, initial strength test that they have in the Marine Corps. And you kind of gauge where you are. Starting off the winter workouts, going into the spring, you'll know exactly, hey man, I need to work on some stuff. I got to get better conditioning. I got to get stronger, upper body, core, lower body, mentally, whatever it is, I have to get better. And these Marine Corps workouts, these initial uh, strength test type workouts will expose any type of weakness that you have and it will show you that I need to work and get better some way somehow strength wise mentally wise physical condition wise whatever but it's going to teach you to lean on your brother and depend on him see this farmers or fireman's carry right here you got to depend on him you got to trust that he's not going to drop you so I think this builds that character and that brotherhood